All right, guys, uh, on to another coil project. So I, I decided to try my hand at uh, making a spider coil for my pulse induction metal detector. Uh, here's a template that I downloaded offline. I'll post a, uh, a link to the template and some information that goes with it. And so uh, I see most people make the templates out of uh, plexiglass or Lexan or acrylic or something like that, but what I had at hand was some of these uh, already cut wooden discs. These are quarter inch thick and it's nine inches diameter. So I, I kind of uh, <clears throat> extrapolated out the template since it's smaller and here's the disc that I cut out of my form. Here's the finished uh, frame, if you will, and the notches around, which match that of the paper template. And uh, I'm on my third third round of turns. I'm using a uh, 30 gauge um, Teflon coated wire. It's Teflon coated stranded wire. And I'll follow up as I get further along. All right, guys, back again. Um, looking at a relatively new coil that I've done for uh, an addition to my pulse induction metal detector growing collection. So uh, I think they call this a, a, a 3D wound coil, maybe basket wound. Um, I finished it. it. It's on a nine inch form that I made. Uh, the form is made from wood. I cut it out and notched it. Uh, I just hooked up multimeter. So take a look. Uh, 7.1, 7.2 ohms. It's a little high, uh, but I think that's what I get for using uh, 30 gauge wire. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look and I'll, sh I'll show you the inductance here in just a second. So, I'm going to take a look at the inductance on this basket coil that I have here. And there's my trusty transistor checker. And what do we have here? Uh, it's about 300 micro henries and see here the resist resistance says 8.9 so I, I think I trust the X tech more like 7.2 ohms so that's that